The purpose of this video is to show you how Odoo's version 12 uses automated actions in order to significantly increase the flexibility of workflows and the power of underlying automation, which will inevitably serve to govern those workflows. So the first thing that I want to look at here is in the, oops, not necessarily that, but uh, first thing we're going to look at is the example workflow that I have in place. So I received a request from a client where the customer wants to submit some information on a form on their website, and they want to be able to give their name, their email, if they're you know associated to a parent company, uh, ascribe a specific service that they want. And in this example, it's only one service that the client selects. Um, there's not many services they can select and they want to submit that form. And what they want to have happen is have Odoo create a contact automatically with that customer's information submitted on the form. They also want that to automatically create a quotation with the service for that customer uh, on there. And they want to automatically send that quotation to that customer upon creation, which would be almost in instantaneously. So with that flow, then the customer will take that quotation they receive in their inbox, submit a credit card payment against it, which would then furthermore automate the creation of the subscription, the creation of the invoice, and uh, obviously the creation of the payment, which would then automatically be reconciled against the invoice. So the invoice is marked as paid and all the financial reports are updated. So let's see how that looks. First step, request the quote. Customer goes in. And I'm going to use uh, someone by the name of Jillian Kaczynski, um, who's actually my sister, uh, JillianAtK.com, belongs to this company, and here's the product they want to buy. In this example, there's only one. And she'll send it in. And with that, let's go into our internal database and see what happened. First thing that happened was when I pull up Jillian, there is a new contact created. And you can see if you don't believe me, it's created just now at uh, 420 58. And I can see the time is 421. I can see also the associated service, which she requested, which we defined there has been automatically uh, adjusted to her contact record. Most importantly, I see here, the sale was automatically created. And if I drill into this sale, I can see that the product ordered was automatically applied to the line. And again, if you don't believe me, you can see that it was created. Now I can see that it was sent to Jillian. I didn't update my template correctly. It's why it reads a zero amount. Um, I can see the PDF was sent by email and I can see it was sent here just like that. Now, so Jillian would receive this in her inbox. Unfortunately, I don't have Jillian's inbox, but what I do, have here is a share tool within Odoo. So I can share the link, which is what Jillian would get in her inbox. So Jillian would open that link. She would have the option to accept the order and give her signature, right? So keep in mind, this has happened without any human intervention. Jillian submitted the contact form, pressed enter, it automatically created the contact, it automatically created the quote, it automatically sent the quote to Jillian. Jillian receives the quote almost instantaneously after having clicked on the uh, submit form button. And now Jillian's completing the quotation which she just signed and now she will have the option to pay. And in order to make the payment, I will go here and take my, my authorized.net credentials, which has some uh, test credit cards in here for me. Go back to Jillian's account, apply the credit card, apply this, and pay and confirm. And now Jillian has submitted her credit card payment against this order. And what Odoo is doing right now is a bunch of stuff. And again, this is a test environment. That's why it looks a little funky here. But um, if we opened it, this is what Jillian would see once she submits that. She'll see that her invoice was automatically created and it's marked as paid. But let's go into the back end of the system and have a look at what happened. I'm just going to refresh that, that order so it updates. 
Now, first thing that happened is the invoice was created. Let's drill into that. You'll see here it was marked as paid. I can click that little I and see the authorized.net transaction, which it's related to. I could view the payment if I want or the transaction here. Furthermore, I see here this, in, this email was automatically sent to Jillian, you know, thanking her for her business. And here's your paid invoice for your records. Uh, and also here's the payment, which was created right through here, which I could always access again and check that out. And then I could also drill into the transaction here, which is the integration with authorized.net in this example, where I always see the status up here of the payment, pending, authorized, done, canceled, error, any fees associated with the transaction, etc. Um, I'll also see automatically where the journal entries, which were posted here, the debits and credits for this product. And also I can see here, the invoice was reconciled against the payment with the matching number provided so that we can always understand which payment matches to which invoice in our records going forward. Next, Odoo automatically generated a subscription for us. If I drill into the subscription, I'll see the customer, I'll see the subscription reference, start date, the date when Jillian's gonna be, her credit card's gonna be billed again, which is on 414, um, all that. And of course, if I drill into the contact Jillian, I will now see in here that I have a credit card saved for Jillian as well, automatically. Going back to the subscription, obviously it's for the monthly subscription, um, no settings are applied yet. So let's go back to the order. You'll see, uh, obviously, everything has been confirmed down here. And that would, in a nutshell, complete that workflow. So this literally all happens without anyone at the company doing anything. Customer creates their quote, submits it. It creates the contact in Odoo and captures all the information. It creates the quote in Odoo automatically with appropriate information related to what the contact requested. It automatically sends that quote to the customer. The customer has the option to pay that quote, which in return automates the creation or the confirmation of the sale order, the creation of the invoice, the creation of the payment, the reconciliation of the payment against the invoice. It automatically creates a subscription and automatically sets into motion the uh, recurring billing. And lastly, of course, it you know, ties all of this together neatly under Jillian Kaczynski's contact record, which we see here, her sale, her subscription, her invoice, and her credit card. So that should give you an idea of the degree to which automated actions can be applied in the Odoo ecosystem. Now, the confirmation of the sale order and all the fancy things that happen uh, after Jillian pays, such as the creation of the invoice and you know, the subscription and all that, that's all standard out of the box. Uh, the part which I've, you know, customized uh, to accommodate here is the initial part where we use this form to generate a new contact and also to, uh, to automatically generate that sale and then automatically send that sale. And you can see that by you can see the automated actions that I've created by going into developer mode and you'll see them here. So it's the send email, create sale order, create the sale order line and update the status of the SO and send it. So that is in a nutshell, the way automated actions work. If you're interested in understanding more about how this sort of technology can be used to automate business processes that you no longer want to pay people to do today, uh, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to build you a, you know, a, a sandbox or to, to help build a proof of concept so that you can understand why Odoo would be the right direction for you to go in. Again, my email is listed here in the description of the video, nko at odoo.com. I look forward to hearing from you.